Okay, hi everyone. Back with another short tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to install Pop Loader on your PSP. Now, this video corresponds with another tutorial I'm yet to do and involves the process of converting PS1 multi disc games into one eboot for your PSP. Now, if you wonder what a Pop Loader is, uh, Pop Loader is a plug-in which you install and what it does, it allows you to switch disc during gameplay. If, if you're playing like say Final Fantasy on your PSP, it allows you to switch between discs, one, two, three, four, whatever. <clears throat> so, let's get started here. First of all, we're going to go to our uh, web browser. Now this, this link right here will be in the description on the web browser. Then you will come to a, uh, a page like this here. Pop Slutter. Uh, well, it, it, it's Spanish, but it, it's for version 6. 620, 635, 639, 660, you know, any version of 6 you have. Now, if you have 3 point whatever or, or some other version like that, then you have to find a pop slider version for that particular firmware. I'm going to download this here. Now you can open it with WinRAR, which I want to do, or you can save it to, say, your download section on your computer. Dang, man. Okay, so I can close this out. It takes a few seconds for it to download. Come on. Okay, now, what we're going to do here, I'm just going down, I'm just going to send this to the desktop, I'm going to check to the desktop. Okay, to extract. Damn, we're done, dude. Okay. Okay, now you're going to have this SE folder here. Now we need to go to into our PSP. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, here we go. This is it. Right here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I got the uh, SE plugins right here on my desktop, and also SE plugins in my uh, memory stick. Now, if you do not have this folder right here in the, in the root of your memory stick, all you do is just simply drag and drop right in this section right here, the root of your memory stick. Okay? If you, if you do have this, like I have, then all you're going to do open that folder up and you're going to have three, these three things here just copy and you're just going to place right in here just place them right in here that's it okay and let's see now we'll go into my PSP which I've got it set my BSH on my uh, PSP in order to run the uh, remote joy light. Okay, now we're in my PSP right here. Now once you download, once you drag and drop all your necessary files into your PSP, you want to hit the uh, uh, the select button, they'll bring, 
bring up your uh, BF8 menu. You're going to scroll on down to this uh, recovery menu here. Alright, hit your X button. Now, now you're going to re your main menu. Now you're going to scroll down to your plugins. That's what the pop loader is. It's a, it's a plugin. So you're going to hit X. Okay. Now here's your pop loader. So you're going to come on down to your pop loader and make sure that this is enabled. Disable. You, you can hit X. You can hit right on your uh, pad. Make sure that's enabled. Okay. Now what you want to do is go back. Go back, come down here, reset your VSH. Okay, you can hit X. Mm -hmm. Just wait a second. Okay, almost there, almost there. But I can pretty much, we, we can go ahead and uh, get out of this, I guess. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, now that you have Okay, now that you have that done Once you have that done, if it's installed correctly, when you run, say, Final Fantasy or whatever game that, that has multiple discs, and you hit the home button, it should look like this right here. Now right here, switch disc, one, two, three, four, which I have installed um, Legend of Dragoon. That's the game I have. When it prompts you to switch to disc 2, 3, 4, whatever, you hit the home button. You simply just select your disc, hit X, that's it. And that's it, man. Mm -hmm. And you're all done. That's pretty much it. I thank you uh, for watching. And have a good evening, a good day, wherever you happen to be. See you later.